Hello everybody, this is Andy with Intelligent Video Solutions and in this short video we're going to be talking about a really important right that you can give to a user group and it's the ability to actually enter the user group section of the settings within Vault. To start we'll go to settings, users and groups, select the group we want to modify and scroll down to rights. Within rights we'll find settings and then the second one down is users and groups which opens up a little bit further. There's technically three different permissions we can give here. The ability to access this users and groups section of the settings, the ability to import users into a group, and the ability to set up single sign-on for a group. So if a user or user group has access to these permissions, then when they click on settings, they'll see users and groups. Without it, they won't see this. I mentioned in the beginning of this video, this is a really big right to be able to give to a user or group because when you go in here, you can edit or add groups, users, I can import users, modify single sign-on, and this plus button right here is the ability to add them. But from within here, if I go into edit a user group, I'll be able to set the different default templates that are in use, modify video access for this user group, modify the rights, which is what we did at the beginning of this video, modify what rooms they can actually observe, and then within the advanced settings, there's even, there's even more. I can modify the default retention rule for videos, uh, search results, how those are laid out, and then platform access, when this user group can actually access Vault. And again, this can be done either at the group level, which is what I'm in right now, or if I go into users, I can modify individual users, what groups they're a part of, and so forth. So this is how you give a user group the ability to actually enter this users and groups section of the settings within Vault. 